Hello friends, yesterday it was a great day. I was in this flea market and then I was checking on a box with all cameras and lenses. And then suddenly in the very bottom of the box, I saw this thing, this way. So I was, I was a bit curious. And then I turned to find one of my favorite lenses ever, which is the Nikkor, uh, EL Nikkor 80mm 5.6. If you follow my videos, you remember that I have already worked with this lens, and then I have it here. Well, I actually rehouse it in this all uh, 50 meters 1.4. I leave you the link to the video in the description, and then here on the corner, and then here, while well, the lens is actually inside, I rigged it for doing monochrome work, and then also for UV photography. So just let me uh, show you a bit of the monochrome work I have done with this lens. Well, this lens, as you can see, is extremely sharp, so I told you. First thing I do with it is monochrome photography. Other thing I do with it is UV photography. So let me show you some examples. And then yes, this is one of the cool things of these lenses is that it is well suited uh, for UV photography as it let pass light below 400 nanometers, which is the realm of uh, UV light and then it's rather good between 325 and 400 nanometers of uh, light so UV so you're able to do nice UV photography and then obviously and uh, there is the application of everyday photography uh, without filters it is extremely extremely sharp lens so I was really really happy finding this lens especially and the price I paid for it I paid uh, something like seven dollars which is, yeah, for this lens is next to nothing because it is also cosmetically really, really good. So, you might ask you, uh, or you might ask me actually, why I want to make this video and then uh, by checking the lens, I realized that it is a bit dirty on the inside and then it has some haze, probably fungus. We need to take a look at that. And then, uh, yeah. All the time it's really really difficult to see uh, dirty inside the lens, especially from uh, your point of view, which is uh, looking uh, at the video. But then, um, let me show you this uh, close-up I took to uh, one of the rear elements uh, under the microscope. And then you will see that the lens is rather dirty. So you saw the lenses inside are rather dirty so what we're going to do is to open the lens and then uh, we're going to clean the lenses inside to do so uh, first thing i will show you how i do proceed figuring out how to disassemble a lens and then first thing i did i went and then i look for the optical construction of the lens that i found here and then by taking a look at it i can see that uh, there is almost a symmetrical design so i have two doublets and two converging meniscuses uh, and then you have the diaphragm in the middle so uh, we know that we have two doublets so we have a probability of um, separation we'll see just after that is not the case and then what we have is that these lenses here the menisc lenses are the ones that are actually dirty how they got dirty probably the guy in the flea market was keeping this lens in really bad storage conditions and then this is the reason why it got dirty on the inside so what we're going to do now is then to open the lens we saw that we're expecting two doublets and then on each half of the lens so first thing i can say to myself is that the lens is going to separate in two parts meaning optically so um, to do that I'm going to start 
removing this ring here that give me the clue that it can be removed so to do that I'm going to use one of these rubber cones I'm really zooming a lot because the lens is rather small and then okay I got it this first ring so now for your benefit I'm going to rotate it with a toothpick so if you're going to do that using a toothpick of a rod using use a soft material like a toothpick because it, ha it has already happened to me that the thing slips and then you scratch something on the lens so we remove the first ring now we're going to remove this element here so I get this small sucker and then here I get my first element I can see two glued lenses meaning this is the first doublet and then at a closer inspection now that it is uh, independent from the rest we can see that there is no separation so I'm going to put this element aside uh, now I have this space here to come with my rubber cone and then I can push it in and then I am able to rotate And then I have removed the front of the lens and then here and uh, there is nothing uh, like a screw or anything uh, which is uh, blocking the thing so you just need to unscrew so the first time is quite hard but then at some point it comes and then you're able to remove it and then here uh, we have one of the dirty elements that I, I don't think I can remove from this body here but probably yes if I unscrew this but then uh, we have access to the two faces of this lens so uh, we're going to clean it uh, just assembly uh, assemble it this way so that's for the front here you see we already access the diaphragm then uh, we don't we don't need to do anything with diaphragm so I'm not going to remove it but then if you have to clean it for some reason I don't know you need to this screw this I can see traces of glue so you will need to dissolve it we're going to do that just immediately for the back so I'm going to explain only once so so about how to dissolve the glue actually so so here I am the back so this is this is the attachment green so this we can remove manually without trouble and then here if you rotate there is a hole and then in this hole here you're going to put some isopropyl alcohol I made a small close-up video showing you how to do it that I'm going to show you just now and then okay so once you have put the isopropyl alcohol you let it work for a while so in the meantime what we're going to do is we're going, we're going to take this ring out here and then still with the rubber cone and then here we have it we rotate, we rotate, we rotate I don't use the toothpick here because the indentation here is rather, rather small so I cannot fit the tip easily so I rather struggle with it I can hold the lens and then do this this is rather easy and then here we have removed additional ring 
and then we come with the vacuum soccer and then we can pull this element here and then as we saw before we are expecting a doublet that we have here so and then here I inspected too we have no separation which is a good thing so let me put this thing aside and then after some time this element should come should come out and then here you simply need to screw this element here and then we can see some traces of glue that got dissolved and then here we reach the element here that we want to clean this is the element I show you in the beginning that I put under the microscope and then it's rather dirty especially on this side so what we're going to do now is to clean these elements and then to do so I'm going to go and grab my cleaning stuff so meet you in a second So hello friends, I am back, I have my cleaning stuff and uh, what I ultimately decided to do was to uh, build this lens cleaning box so I don't have to look each time for everything so here what I have is the isopropyl alcohol the optical cleaning fluid, some uh, microfiber clothes optical cleaning paper I have some spurs and then the one I use the most here I have uh, my mixture for uh, eliminating fungus I leave the the link for reference some lens pen to push the cleaning paper around some tweezers just to manipulate the stuff around the lenses and then uh, these are in plastic so I don't risk of uh, scratching anything and then small blower this thing is a bit useless but then the brush is quite nice and then here I have a pair of gloves to use them whenever needed and then I, I replace them too from time to time obviously so uh, since the lens is so small what I'm going to do at this one I'm, what I will try to do is to show you the cleaning uh, through um, the microscope so you can see in detail what we're doing so here we are under the microscope as you can see the lens is rather dirty and then uh, what we're going to do now is to clean it so first thing we do is to blow it so to remove any dust which is into the lens then uh, second thing we do we put a bit of optical cleaning fluid here can see it is already reacting with whatever those drops are maybe grease uh, humidity uh, honestly I don't know and then I uh, will take a small piece of optical cleaning paper and then usually I push it with a lens pen so what I'm going to do now just to push it with a cotton swab and then just as a fair trial let me just take a look at the lens and then I would say it's rather successful for a clean so um, this is just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with now I'm going to proceed to the cleaning uh, by myself then we meet in a few seconds just to reassemble the lens so see you so I managed to finish the clean under the microscope obviously if you're doing this yourself you don't need a microscope but any magnification will be good because you will be able to see how these lenses which are really really tiny are going to get clean so now we're going to reassemble the lens so we take the back group here that I keep while I was cleaning the other one 
We blow. Just a little bit, just to make sure we don't have particles of dust. And then uh, we put here, and then not only should be easy. We screw. We tied just a bit. Then with the suction cup here, we take the double doublet, which should go here. And then should slide in without trouble. Just want to make sure with my finger it is the case. I can clean it once mounted because this surface is available to access from the exterior. Then here we just need to tighten. Even this thing's right, it's always a mess. I think I reached the end. So, half lens mounted. We blow again, just to remove any dust. Now, we do the front. We take the front element here. That we also clean it under the microscope. Then we just screw it in. Nothing really complicated here. So we're almost done. Now we need to put the last doublet. So I pick it with my suction cup. Then I slide it here into the diameter and I come I put the ring then I have to twist it using this very impractical method and there you go you EL Nikkor 80 millimeters 5.6 is as good as new and ready to make beautiful photography beautiful whatever you want thanks for watching and see you next time